All right, so I'm going to show you um, a different way to use paint and paper to make it fun. Um, this is especially great if you're trying to work with fine motor skills or you just need something different than paint brushes. So I've just pulled Q-tips out. So I have like regular size Q-tips and then I have an insane amount of these infant Q-tips that I don't know why I felt like I needed these when my kids were born. But anyways, I have tons of them. Um, and then any kind of paint will work. This is just um, poster paint, um, nothing expensive. It's washable, comes off of everything. And then I don't have a paint palette that I'm using. I'm just using um, a lid off of like an individual ice cream container. Um, and so if you want to separate the colors, you could do one Q-tip per color. Um, if you don't mind your kid exploring and seeing what colors they make, you could have them reuse it. Um, and they're just going to make a picture using dots. And so just lightly stamping. Um, let's just make a flower because I need springtime to happen. Um, so they can explore whatever they want. Instead of using paint brushes, they're using a different material. And so I find just introducing something different that, you know, they'd use for something um, completely other than art is just so fun to use, especially if it's something like Q-tips that, you know, I don't let my kids use <laughs> Q-tips on their own. So something that's kind of different that they, they don't normally get to use. So I'm kind of dragging mine um, into my colors, and I don't, I don't mind my colors mixing. I kind of think that's fun and interesting. Um, it makes me happy to see those other colors kind of poke through. So I'm still using the same Q-tip, but um, you might have students that really don't like those colors to mix, um, or kids, not students, depending on on what you're dealing with at home now. Um, so yeah, this can be super, super beautiful. You could have them practice their names. Um, aside from making picture, you could do this with all kinds of things. So that's Q-tip painting, something super fun, super easy, um, and super cheap. So uh, if you give it a go, I wanna see those drawings, so make sure you post them.